Hi right, everybody, it's Tyler here, checking in with the Speedway winners. It's Killer Instinct and BarkBot in there. I'm here with Luke and Alex to talk more about their incredible one. Speedway is such an incredible event, an incredible set of matches we went all through. Killer Instinct, you were the number one seed uh, going into this. What were some of the key keys to your success in qualifying to get that number one seed? I think really our strategy of defensive first and controlling the uh, control zones. The majority of the points uh, in the game this year are with the control zones. And so being able to control those just throughout the course of the match, getting them back and forth is really a key part to winning the match. Also, the Atomas bonus is huge. Uh, with the big D-score wing strategy, we see the scores are a lot lower. That means the Atomas bonus is a much bigger uh, weight to how the game is scored. So I think making our Atomas consistent and be able to like win the Atomas um, almost every match. I think we won seven out of eight matches. But also then using that D using our D-score strategy to just D-score every ball that our opponent scores to take the control zones. And then after we get those control zones, just playing defense until the end of the match. You guys had your pick of uh, some incredible teams to go with. Why was BarkBots on top of your list and why were they so compatible with your team? I think they really also emphasize the D score for a strategy. You know, they really have they have a really good wing and a really good driver who's able to maneuver around the field and take control of the control zones. Also consistent autonomous. Like I said, autonomous is a big thing. They had really um, they had a bunch of different autons so we could pair, mix and match well. I know we changed our autons a little bit over the course of Elims and that was intentional because um, we know our opponents are gonna have some autons so we wouldn't be able to um, out it's really just about outfoxing their autons. And so being able to have a team where they have different autons, we have different autons, we can mix and match and make sure we guarantee that Thomas bonus. Mark Botsky in there, we saw you at uh, the Mall of America event, you got a great run there. Uh, but here, uh, had some struggles, I think, in qualification, some really tough matches you went through. Uh, as you look, you know, going to that, what were some of the conversations like with Killer Instinct as they were picking you? Can you just walk me through, kind of going into the line selections, like how did some of those conversations go down? I mean, I think we went into a line selection already knowing that like we're going to be very compatible together since we talked about our autons a lot before actually alliancing. We actually tested all of our autons at least like 10 matches before our line selection actually happened. So we had already had a lot of practice together, a lot of time communicating with together. So that's how we knew that we had like really fit well together as a team and as an alliance. You have some pretty uh, close matches, uh, especially in uh, qu uh, quarterfinals, semifinals, leading in the finals. Uh, as you kind of went through that whole like gambit of all the different matches, did your strategy change at all as you were going into finals? Uh, not by much, because we really focus on those control bonuses or control zones, spe especially. Since the both long goals are they, they're worth ten points, so we really want to prioritize those. So as long as we keep those and a few of the middles, we should be fine. And we kind of kept with that strategy throughout the whole Elims, and it seemed to work out. In the finals matches here, uh, you know, just watching the back and forth, we see a bit of a game change, I think, over the last month or so, where it's just all about now how quickly can you de-score, how do you position yourselves well, how did your alliance approach the finals matches, and was it any different from uh, quarterfinals, round of 16, semifinals? I think a lot more defense. Um, I know we should play a lot more defensive strategy in that in those finals matches because we knew our opponents were really good at scoring. You know, we really wanted to take the control zones and just hold them. I guess, like Alex said, they're really important, and so we should be able to like take the control zones either in Auton or either get them back during the match and just defend them for the entirety. You know, get them back. There are some back and forth there. I know when I was starting finals match, we had some back and forth, but mainly just making sure we own those control zones at all, all points of the match. And at the end of the match, you know, deciding whether to park or not or protect those control zones is a big decision. And I think we should be a really good job at reacting, and then I think so did Alex too of maintaining control zones and parking. Last thing I want to ask here, we, we asked uh, Killer Instinct why you guys were so compatible with them. How about why does Killer Instinct, work, why do they work so well with your team as well too? And what do you really appreciate about Killer Instinct uh, throughout this competition? Well, I think the thing I appreciate the most is that they're really easy to talk to. They're really easy to like talk to and basically come up with different strategies, come up with different scenarios. Like if we're down Auton, we know what to do already in the match. We don't panic at all together. So everybody has a lot of composure on the team. So we all work really well together. Even if there's like a problem happens, or if we just succeed, we just win everything. These are your Speedway winners. We're here at the Indianapolis 500 Winner's Circle. Congratulations, both teams. We can't wait to see you at Vex Worlds. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.